Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grand Pichet. Dr. Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. Uh, Sarah wants to know, uh, 20 hours at two years and 40 hours at three years prescribed, question mark, does that? Yeah, I mean, usually I like to ask, I, I like to start with uh, 20 hours or so with my two-year-olds, maybe 15 to 20, because I don't want to shock their system. And I will gradually increase it. You know, if you go in with that prescription, then by the time the child's like two and a half, you're going to already be building up to about 30 hours. By the time they're three, you're looking at about 40 hours. A lot of our viewers are going to kind of freak out at that and think, yep. oh, my God, how am I going to do 40 hours with a three-year-old? And, and first of all, ideally, you want to divide that over the course of seven days, not five. And if you are able to divide that over the course of seven days, then you're looking at five to six hours a day. And if you think about the number of hours that the child is awake, let's say from just, you know, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and that's 12 hours, and let's take two hours off of that for nap time and various other things, and then you have 10 hours a day of which you want to schedule five to six hours in, in one or two hour blocks. Now, with, the, with our two-year-olds, a lot of the time, I will start out with one-hour blocks because I don't want them to get tired. Now, all that being said, please remember, all of our viewers, that it is not uh, like intensive tutoring that is extremely difficult for the child. The ABA is extremely rewarding. It's like fun, one-to-one Every accomplishment is celebrated with all kinds of reinforcers. And so it is, while it's difficult to do five to six hours per day, uh, seven days a week, it becomes extremely enjoyable for the child after the first few months. First few months are difficult, I will say, because most of our children are not used to having had any kind of demand placed on them. And now we're asking them simple things like come here and sit down and let's work on some subjects together. And the child might not want to do that initially. But a good therapist will reward the child, make it very fun, go at a pace that is challenging but not aversive. And then the whole program becomes so much fun. I like to tell parents that a lot of times I hear stories from parents where their child is sitting, looking out the window, waiting for their therapist to get there because they love it so much. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I remember the first time somebody, and I remember who it was who said to me, they're going to recommend 40 hours a week for your kiddo. And I was like, you're out of your mind. 40 hours, that's a full-time job. He's a child. He has Caillou to watch. Like he's got stuff to do. And they were like, yep, it seems crazy, but you know, that's what you need to do. You asked us how our kid got better. That's what you need to do. And I went, okay, uh, let me, you know, figure this out. And I saw, you know, my child, you know, the doorbell would ring and he would literally, he would do that run when they run across the carpet where he would jump up in the air and his little legs would be moving in the air, but he wasn't touching the ground. And he would, he loved some of his therapists. He would go, pedo, pedo, pedo. Peter at the door because he was so excited to see Peter. And that's when you know you're doing it right, man, when they are so excited and they will miss their therapist. Then there's the flip because then those therapists leave and they go off of your team and, and parents want to hoard those therapists, but we have to let them come and we have to let them go and let new therapists come and then let them go because that's how we get to that generalization piece. But I'm telling you, it was hard. I don't want to candy coat it. It was really, really hard. Best thing that I will ever be a part of in my life was my child doing a 40 hour program. Best thing ever. And if you have a child that you want to connect with and that you want to give them their best chance, I'm telling you, I'm begging you do this favor for yourself so that your stomach, I've said forever that my picture in my head was that someday he was going to stand in a cap and gown. And that when he did, I wanted to be able to say to him, we did everything that we could. 
And I'm about six weeks away, you guys. I'm telling you, go do this for yourself and for them. They deserve it. You deserve it. All right. I got to stop being emotional. Thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.